Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Chances are you've seen a brown tree snake or two on Guam, but the chances of seeing a native cocoa bird in the wild are slim to none. Invasive species such as rats and the brown tree snake nearly eradicated the Guam rail. But thankfully, there are ongoing efforts to rebuild the population. We're making our way down south to Maritsu, where the Department of Agriculture's Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources, or DAR, along with folks from the U.S. Geological Survey Rapid response team held an outreach to spark dialogue to promote Cocos Island's biosecurity. DOA DAR Supervisor Diane Weiss. We've got the captive breeding in the Milau and those, those birds or the descendants of those birds were released on Cocos Island in 2010. So they've been successfully breeding and reproducing there, which is great and it's, it's kind of heartbreaking. To hear that snakes are uh, doing are on the island and doing quite well feeding on birds and lizards. The island had been snake-free up until around 2013 to 2014, the estimated time that the original snakes got to Cocos. A rapid response team was called to do an initial response to survey the island back in December of 2020. Since the start of their mission, they've collected 37 brown tree snakes. U.S. Geological Survey Rapid Response Team Coordinator Patrick Barnhart. The first night we were out there, we ended up finding a snake. And so our initial plans kind of changed from a uh, go out and spend time looking for snakes to now what do we do since we've found snakes. The rapid response team consisting of three to four people now goes out to the island twice a week and removes every snake they find. On average, they find about one to two snakes a night. But it takes much more than a team of four people to combat the serpents from creating chaos. We've got the cooperation of a lot of federal agencies and local agencies and the university and we're going to beat this. We're going to get out there, we're going to get a plan, and we're going to implement the plan, and we're going to, we're going to remove the snakes from Cocos Island, and we're going to need the public support. Those that travel to the island are advised to inspect their vessels and cargo. Snakes like to hide in dark places during the day, and if items have been stored outside, they can sneak inside. When you unpack your stuff on the island, then you've, uh, you know, you've introduced snakes there. Diane says she's confident that if they get the resources to do the job, they can eradicate the snakes. It's definitely not an easy job, but it's a necessary one. She says helping prevent the spread of the snakes and inspecting vessels and cargo is a personal responsibility. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matsunani.